With us now is Stephen Zalewski, and he is an artist. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, Donna. How years are you? Ago, good. Years ago when I started the show, um, I invited you to be a guest. And as the years have rolled on, um, <laughs> my palette of success has changed, your palette of success has changed. So I didn't realize this, but besides sculpting, you work in other types of medium. What do you like to do? I like to paint and we do music, improvisational, and I do performance art rolling around in my sphere made of stainless steel people wearing a blinking white jacket, playing harmonica through a microphone <laughs> for, uh, you know, get a little attention now and then in Miami or New York City or Toronto, Lake Placid, the Hamptons. I got notorious for rolling into Art Hamptons in my sphere with a police escort. Oh, you did, did you now? It was great. And how big is your sphere? Did you make, I mean, is there any, I'm only five one and a half, but you're tall. Yeah, so, I'm six foot now. I used to be taller, but. Okay, do you, so you fit in your sphere? It's seven feet, so it's okay. perfect. Okay, so you made it just big enough so that you could. Well, I was making smaller ones because to me it's a symbol of community and people working together uh, around the world. You know, I'm an idealist. And I figured, wow. If I made it big enough, I could actually roll around it and it could be an exercise thing or a performance art piece. And about 10 years ago, I did it. And there's 40 videos on YouTube of me having events. It's uh, been a lot of fun. And I think that's right around the time that I might have first interviewed you because the show has now been on for about 11 years. So yeah. now the sphere has gone around and around and around. Um, so it, it is it's connective people right it's yes. people that are all made is it stainless what are you the working new in? one i have is stainless okay and it's at the jamie forbes gallery mm. in santa mauritius right now there's a sculpture show for me going on and a painting show for a few of my, our friends and uh it's been great it's right across from the ketchum inn the historical place and all through the county of suffolk county and the ketchum inn foundation some of your work is displayed um, at major corporations. Are there any favorites that come to mind for you? Well, I did one for Nike for their campus in Oregon. I did AstraZeneca, the big drug company in Wilmington. And I did uh, Ionis Pharmaceuticals in Carlsbad, Barbara Sinatra Children's Center in Palm Springs. And I just did Sweet Hollow Park, a sculpture called Community in Melville, nearby. And I drove by that and I knew your work. I was like driving by and I went, I did one of those whoop, 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 you when your head like it turns around. That's new. And I was like, whoa, I was like, I was like, that's gotta be, it just, I believe that when you really arrive as an artist, it's the moment when somebody can look at a piece of art and it has your name and your essence all involved in it, right? <laughs> sure. Without even being signed. And that's the piece. I mean, I saw it and I said, Stephen did that. So I sent you a message right away. I said, right. hey, I saw your new baby. So now speaking of babies, what is the process? Because these are three of your babies, right? Well, basically, I envision pieces and a piece like this is welded bronze, sheet metal bronze from Brooklyn. And I draw on the bronze till I like get shapes that I like to do, I have a theme in my mind. Okay. This one was waves. So I did a, uh, a wave, and, cause I've been a surfer most of my life, not so much lately, but um, the ocean and the water and everything really gets me going, I love it. So this one was bronze waves. This was an improvisation I did out of uh, pieces I had on my table and I love this color blue. I did a, a blue series the past few years ah. and it turned out to be a hit. It was a little ahead of its time. Yeah. And then this one was another improvisational piece, kind of like a floral kind of idea with the, uh, a symbol of like the sun and in purple and gold, because I want to experiment. To me, everything art is an experiment for me. That's what makes it fun. Yeah. It makes me want to do it every day. <laughs> Like improvisational music, I just, I sing what's in my head, you know. Uh, remembering things and things, that's not for me. Okay. I'd rather be now. In the moment. Right. In the present. Very that's, present. That's my talent. I like that. 
I like that. Being present is a talent, and it, a lot of people aren't able to do that. So congratulations well, I, I for that. Well, I trained myself to be able to by uh, doing improvisational music, especially. Okay. And do you do instruments, or do you sing, or...? Uh, everything. I play harmonica, guitar, bass guitar, drums, little piano. I'll go to clients' homes, and if they have a piano, I'll sit down and make up a song for them. <laughs> I always get the job. You do? Oh, right? I like that. One time, a client's in the Upper Saddle River, they sat down at the piano, and they did an opera number for me. I was floored. Wow. Because basically, hardly anybody plays their pianos. I have a so, piano. I'm still learning how to play, but I do know how to do bum, 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 da 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 of heart course. and soul. I think everybody <laughs> needs to be able to play that on the piano at least once in their life. I think my first one was I Dream of Jeannie oh. with the light brown hair. Yeah, I Dream of Jeannie with the light brown hair. I know that song. I know. I sang, Eventually I, I married her. Oh, I grew up singing in a patriotic singing group where we sang songs from the 30s to the 70s. Cool. We always did a patriotic finale. And it's funny how certain songs will come to you in a conversation and then you just burst out in song. So I'm kind of <laughs> like that too, like a walking jukebox as I've been called before. I thank you for joining us. Um, so if somebody wanted to meet you in person, they could go to your website and, and, and or come to your studio perhaps with an appointment. My info's on my website. Okay. ZalewskiSculptureStudios.com and I'm always at my studio working or making music and having fun and everybody's welcome to stop by if they have time. Uh, I enjoy the company. Yeah. Oh, it's been wonderful. And even as I said early on, uh, before my daughter went to art college, uh, you were so kind to let her come to your studio. And I, I know that was definitely a personal inspiration for Elise because now she's Good. a sculptor. I know. So. She's terrific. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank I'm you for joining glad us. glad I helped inspire her. Absolutely. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Donna. We've been visiting with Steven Zalewski. I am Donna Drake. And coming up next, it might be Tony Walker. Stay tuned.